Section 2. Reading Comprehension. The scoring value for reading comprehension is 10 points for every correct answer. The scoring technique used in this section is applicable for all multiple choice contests, including proofreading and charts and graphs. When scoring these other contests, please be sure to use the correct point value for that section. To begin, take your answer key and practice contest and place them side by side. We encourage you to use the Braille version of the answer key so that you can easily ensure that each answer is correct. If you are a Braille reader scoring this contest, please be sure to check the entire length of the line for all possible answers a contestant may have brailled. To mark the test, use a diagonal line across an answer that was re-brailled and therefore doesn't count at all. Use a straight line over an answer to mark it as incorrect. An unmarked answer is considered correct. These markings assist the score checkers and BIA staff in reviewing contest scoring. Write the point value for each correct answer in the left-hand margin. If the answer is incorrect for a particular question, write a zero in the left-hand margin. Do not deduct points. Do not use a minus 10 for an incorrect answer on multiple choice contests. Remember that in this section, we'll only be going over items that contain something other than a simple error. Okay, let's start scoring. Passage 1. In line 2, the student brailled two different answers. The first one is correct, but doesn't count as you always use the last answer brailled. So, draw a diagonal line through the first answer. The second answer brailled is incorrect. Mark this error with a straight line over the answer. The student is awarded no points for this question, so write a zero in the left-hand margin. In line 4, the student didn't braille a period after the letter. However, the letter answer is correct and punctuation is not applicable, so the student is awarded 10 points. Write a 10 in the left-hand margin. In line 9, the answer is correct, but they used a cap dot and no period. Again, punctuation is not applicable, so the contestant is awarded 10 points. Mark accordingly. Passage 2. In line 4, the student used a Nemeth number for the question number, but the answer is correct. So, the contestant is awarded 10 points. In line 10, the student brailled the answer three times. Draw a diagonal line through the first two attempts to indicate that they do not count. The last answer is correct, so the student is awarded 10 points. Passage 3. In line 4, the student used the wrong question number, but the answer is correct. Therefore, the student is given 10 points. In line 9, the answer is brailled in words instead of the letter C, which is the correct answer. We are only concerned with whether or not the student selected the correct answer. In this case, you will need to ask the scoring room administrator for the copy of the contest to determine if the words brailled correspond to the answer C. In this case, they do, so the student is awarded 10 points. Also note that Carol is not contracted properly. This is not considered an error, as the student need only provide the correct answer, which they did. Now that we've finished marking the test, we need to tally up the score. Add up separately the points for each passage completed and mark it next to the passage. Then, add up the scores for all three passages and record this number in the upper right-hand corner of the first page with your initials. Also record this number on the contest face sheet. Congratulations! You've just finished scoring a Braille Challenge Reading Comprehension Test. Remember, the guidelines you've just practiced apply to all multiple choice tests used as part of the challenge. You should now be able to confidently score all Braille Challenge multiple choice contests.